Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies and in this video I'm going to show you the BOM BOQ tool in CAT Power. If you open the CAT Power menu, you can find a section called BOM BOQ tools under which you find there are a number of tools we have created. I'm going to show you the first one which is the main tool for BOQ generation. Now, bill of materials or quantities generation means different things to different people. So, we have several different workflows by which you can compute the quantities. In this video, I am going to show you one particular workflow called multiple blocks by name. What this means is, if you have a drawing which has got number of blocks, you can count the number of blocks and you can assign a cost to each block and you can create a cost and quantity table of the blocks and you can export the same to Excel as well. Edit the table in Excel and bring it back to CAD and that is what I'm going to show you today. So firstly let us look at the drawing that we have. It is a drawing of an elevator and you can see there are plenty of switches and various other fittings and such things and all of these are different blocks. So we are going to now create a cost and quantity table. So go back to BOQ generator and my workflow is already set as multiple blocks by name and these are the blocks in my drawing and currently you can see all of them are selected which means I have selected all of them and I want to create a quantity and cost table out of them. Now where does the cost come from? It has to be entered in some place and that is done using these INI files which is here BOM extract template or general parameters file. So if you go to edit you can see how the structure of the INI file is and how you can edit them. Now you don't need to worry about this structure because the first time you start this tool in CAT power automatically the file is generated for you. So if I go to the block name section and click on edit, you can see that all the block names are defined here like balloon block, BP plate, BPSP and so on. And next to that there is description and cost. The syntax is fairly simple, although it may look a little complex for first timers. You have the block name here and then here you have the uh, description and followed by the cost. It is separated by a comma. Now you can change any one of these very easily and let's say instead of capacity plate I want to call it as capacity plate square and instead of 45 I want to make it 55. So I just need to change it here and click on update and you can see that the new value gets updated and I say OK and save, it gets saved. So it's pretty simple to edit your descriptions, your cost and very soon you have a BOQ out of it. There are several other options as well like your text height and your spacing and so on. There are also options like do you want to create a table of text, do you want to export it to ASCII into the Excel file and such things. So we can leave all that for now and just click on OK and now it's asking you to select the blocks and it's asking you to select the blocks with all these names because that is what we have selected. Now it happens to be all the blocks in the drawing so I'm just going to say OK and this is the insertion point of my table. Do you want to scale the BOM? If you like the size you can say no otherwise you can enter a scale factor and scale it. So you can see that CAT Power has now created a table which has got the block name, it has got the description, it has got the quantities as seen in the drawing, it has got the unit cost as it comes from the INI file and it has got the total cost. So with this it is very easy to create a cost and quantity table. Now let us see what it has created here. Now that is the CSV file that it has created which I can double click and open in Excel and you can see that whatever was there in the table it is now here in the CSV file as well. 
So you can now edit the CSV file. For example, you may want to add a new column or you may want to change something here like the cost or quantity or whatever. And once you make the change, you can import it back to CAD as well. As an example, I'm just going to change the name of this standard balloon. I'm going to call it as I'm going to call it as annotation balloon and I'm going to save this Excel file and I'm going to come back to my CAD and I'm going to come back to BOQ and now instead of export I'm going to say import and that is the import file which you need to enter it's the same as the export file by default so when you are going to import the file back into CAD it asks you whether you want to delete the old file or you want to keep it so I'm going to just keep it click the insertion point so you can see that the standard balloon has changed to annotation balloon so this way you can create your table and export to Excel so this is just one of the ways in which our BOM works. In another video, I'm going to show you the other workflows that we have in CAD Power. The BOM tool is pretty comprehensive and does a lot of things. And I hope uh, you can derive some benefit from using these tools in your work. Thank you.